Okay, hey guys, I did not want to start like this, but I thought we had already talked to this guy, and he gives us something for catching 60 Pokemon, which as of catching all those legendaries, and actually it was just as of catching those legendaries, although I have caught a couple of Pokemon off screen that I'm going to go over. Weird way to start an episode, I know, but let's see what the guy in the Blackthorn Pokemon Center gives us. And we get a lucky egg, which is a massive XP boost to the Pokemon holding it. Yeah, yep, that will come in handy in a bit. Um, so let me show you what I'm going to be doing real quick, because we're going to have to need... Okay, so you see these Pokemon? Sneasel and Brintil to the Jinx. Jinx is named because we're going to need it. Um, I am going to be depositing Grunty and getting Jinx out. Brintilda, named after a honestly underutilized good fairy sister of Gruntilda who we only saw in Banjo-Kazooie and as I am pretty sure never showed up again just like Tootie they forgot her um, I think they did actually forget Tootie but anyway um, I'm gonna be leveling Jinx up a little bit and I will see you guys afterward uh, this will be useful for a specific thing actually let me check the nature for Jinx it, it is a eh. It is advantageous to have uh, Mean Look and Hypnosis here. Looks like a neutral nature. Ooh, Filter. Reduce super effective damage. Okay, you can find Jinx basically any floor of the ice path, either in morning or day. Do not go at night, because you will only find Sneasel. Um, also, fun fact, if you're playing Polished Crystal, you are able to reset the time without any issues on the... Uh, on the uh, uh, the main menu screen with the running Suicune. Uh, another thanks to Victor Pulse for this comment. Uh, if you press, if you hold down, select, and B on the menu, you can reset the time with no issues if you need to do something in the morning or something at night. So, all right, I will see you guys in a little bit. We are gonna be leveling some Jinx. All right, guys. After all this time, we finally have uh, Brintilda where I want her to be. She is 39, she's got Mean Look, she's got Sing, which you actually have to go talk to the CN Wood uh, move person unless you catch it at a much lower level. Um, let's see, we got a lot of Quick Claws, I'm going to take advantage of that. For that, we wanted to be 39 for a very specific reason, and those of you who are familiar with what we're doing here, you will probably know why. Um, we're going to go and look for a certain Pokemon. And uh, we're gonna wander around for a bit, and let's see if we can find it. We have not seen either of them before, so this could take a while. I might come find you guys when it's actually time. <laughs> so I will see you guys in a minute. Oh, hello! Okay, here we go. Here's Entei, number one of two. Technically three, but we already got three. All right, so first things first, got to mean look it so it won't run away because what Intei loves to do is run away. Now, we hit it with Sing. And we just got to hopity hopity hope. Um, okay. So what we're going to do here, we have a very specific strategy. I'm glad that... I'm glad that she was fast enough to, uh to actually mean look it. No, Intei, don't wake up. Uh. Okay, we'll get him lower. Then we'll sing him again. Okay. No! Alright. Well, now that we've seen Intei before, <laughs> we can find him in the Pokedex. So we're gonna go down the Pokedex here. And we can see where Intei ran off to. No, 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 no. Down at the bottom where it says area. We got Intei. He's on the other side of Mahogany Town. So we're going to run that way. I'll catch you guys in a minute. Alright. So we're back on this route. It says Intei's here. We have the repels up. So all luck. We should run into him. Just wait for that iconic Legendary Beast theme. Come on, Intei. Come on, Intei. Bring it. Bring it to me, come on. Any day now. No, nothing. Am I even on the right route? Am I that stupid? Maybe. Possibly. Oh, that's Moltres. Excuse <sighs> Okay. Area. 
No, where? Oh, that's that's on. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. A little bit more walking. A little bit more walking. Okay. Now let's see here. If he's still there, this is how you this is how you hunt the beasts. Okay, he's still here. Good. Okay. So he's supposed to be here, not where I thought he was. Is there grass on this route, or am I just stupid? I already did. I already figured that out. Yes, is the answer. Wait, isn't the grass in the middle? Like, like on the water? Kind of, kind of, kind of here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Inte. Yeah. There we go. All right. So this Inte is now wounded. So we're gonna we're gonna outspeed him again with the mean look. Hope he doesn't use roar. Okay. Now we gotta sing him. Sing him to sleep. All right. Are you guys ready? We're gonna start catching Inte. We got him down. We got him sung. This is how we do it. We have to mean look him so he can't run away. Okay. Time for balls. Balls all over your body. You're the ball man. All right, dusk ball. It is nighttime. It is definitely. I definitely tell you guys to do this at nighttime because oh boy, he woke up again. Oh boy. Okay. All right, come on, Brintilda. Get that quick claw action. Not that we needed it really. Now you want to make sure that your mean look person doesn't get KO'd because if they do, intake can just run. Uh, also, man, hunting down these things when I was first playing the game as a kid was like I, I didn't understand a lot of the nuances. I knew that stuff like mean look and spider web would keep them here, but oh boy, was it annoying to uh, to have to fight them without really knowing how it worked because I would switch my Pokemon out and they would run and I'd be like no and then I would learn that you can uh, that their damage doesn't go away which is really nice because this would be agonizing if their damage went away like can you imagine that would be crazy like awful although maybe that happens with other roaming Pokemon these are called roaming Pokemon by the way I'm sure anybody watching already knew that but I just want to cover it in case people didn't. Inte, I, I, look man, I appreciate you, I really do, but I need you to stay in the ball. Like, the, the viewers demand that you stay in the ball because we need to catch all these guys for an important reason. And he didn't wake up two turns in a row, that's nice. That's nice, thank you, Brintilda. I almost want to try to switch to Mimic and paralyze him, but I don't know, like, it, it, I feel like, ah, son of a, all right, see you guys in a minute. Okay, wait, wait, here's another one. Oh, it's Entei again. Okay, so, still looking for Raikou, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna, we're gonna get Entei this time. All right, he can't escape. Sing him to sleep. So Sing has a 75% hit chance now, which I am super grateful for. But yeah, again, people always called these the legendary dogs when I was a kid, and I kind of get it, because, you know, you could look at Entei and think that's some kind of, like, St. Bernard-looking ass, but, like, he's clearly got teeth, like, saber-toothed teeth, or, like, jowls, and, like, a big lion mane, flowy, a flowy one, but he clearly is cat-based, um... But we're gonna, whatever, we're not worried about that right now. We're not worried about what Intei is, we're worried about what he am. And what he am not is in my ball. Okay, great. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on Intei for a while. Um, I will see you guys after a few more ball tosses. Alright, let's try this. Nope. Oh, come on, Rutilla, stay in there. Stay in the game. Oh! Okay, check, make sure it's recording. Okay. Okay, put him back to sleep. Alright, good. Good. Okay, I like the sing accuracy. I'm a big fan of the 75% sing accuracy. Almost a little bit OP. But right now, that's gonna work in our favor, I think. Huh. 
better get used to this strat, because we're not going to be able to paralyze the other one. Because Raikou is an electric type. Oh boy, that's fun. Oh, jeez. Now, if I could get Mean Look on Ninetales, that would be perfect, because Intake can't hit Ninetales with anything. Although, I guess he can use Roar. Ah. No, Intake, no. Three. Oh, okay. Well, I got him in a couple of Ultra Balls after wasting like five or six Dusk Balls. Oh, boy. Had some luck with him there, though. I do not like roaming Pokemon. Boy, let me tell you, finding them is an adventure. And you know what? We still got one more to find. That was relatively painless, at least in video form, because <laughs> a lot of the running around gets cut out. So I will see you guys in a minute. We're gonna go find the other one. Oh boy. Hey guys! It's HPP. We are in Celadon City. I am still searching for Raikou, um, but I actually stumbled upon something I did not know. If you go to Celadon City, obviously you'd have to be post Johto Elite 4 to get to this, uh, you can go find Yusin in Yusin's house. Hi Yusin. I'm back visiting my hometown. Been quite a while. Uh, oh, by the way, have you caught the legendary beast Pokemon? Okay, let me give you my research notes. Uh, this is Raikou. Okay, cool. That's the one I didn't have. If you catch even one, I hope that you'll inform me. Counting on you, HPP. Alright, and we'll talk to Yusin's grandfather. He's overjoyed. Yusin's home. I don't know if he's here in the original game. I don't think so. But, you know, um... Okay, so now we have the area of Raikou. He's not in Kanto. So I'll see you guys back in Johto. I just wanted to show that you could do that. If you don't have Entei, uh, he will also show you Entei. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I actually learned a trick uh, here looking for Raikou. So if you fly, it resets where they're roaming. Roaming Pokemon are a real adventure. Let me tell you, I spent a long time looking for Raikou last night before I learned that they had tucked Yusin away in Celadon. Anyway, so if you fly to Violet City, there are a lot of avenues you can go. You can go to the east to Route 31, you can go south to Route 32, and you can go west to Route 36. If you move to an adjacent route without flying, the Pokemon will likely move to a route adjacent to the one they're already in. So if one is near where you are right now, for instance, let's look at the uh, let's look at the Pokedex and see where Raikou is. So Raikou is on Route 29. We are up at Violet City, two towns over. So we're gonna head over to Route 31 and see if Raikou moves with us. So this is Route 31. There's a tree I hadn't cut. We'll fix their wagon. All right, so, ah, more, more trees. Okay, so aside from that, let's see where Raikou is now. Uh, he is still on Route 29. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Max Repels, and we're going to walk down here, and we're going to talk. We're going to talk down here. More trees! More trees! Do it! Wait, wait. Oh, because I... Is it because I changed roots? Why didn't it auto-cut? Anyway. Like... Oh, man. This is like... I don't know. I feel like this doesn't need to be as intensive as it is. Like, I get that the tech that they were using is not like amazing, but ah, man, chasing these roaming Pokemon can be a true challenge. Alright, now I don't even know if, if uh, Grunty's going to be able to outspeed Raikou, but let's let's see if I can get him to show up. Hello, Raikou, any day, any day now, Raikou please, no, no, he moved north, that fool. Alright. We'll go through the gate and see if he's still here. Uh, yes, I would like to use another. I just don't want to buy so many repels that I run out, you know? Okay, but he's not here again. No, he is. Okay. Okay, he's here. We're gonna keep looking. We're gonna keep looking. We're in the grass looking for a big old tiger. Big old lightning tiger. And I really hope we can outspeed. I, I think we're on this route. 
Uh, Route 46. Okay, well, hold on. Hang on. We are on Route 46. Where are you, Raiko? I know you're here. Wait. Is he on Route 45? No, he's not. He's he's right here. We're also right here. Where is he? He'll be here. He has to, like Santa Claus. They wouldn't lie to me. I just walked 250 steps, but he still didn't show. Uh, okay. Okay, Raiko. You could, you could show up now. It says he's right here. Am I blind? Yep, I think I... I don't know, like, he's 40, so it shouldn't matter that repels are on. But I guess I'll turn repel, like, for repels to go off and then try it? But that's the whole reason that Brintilda is 39. Uh, no, that's not the right Pokemon. I don't get it. I don't get it, squad. Man, Jake's has the longest cry ever. Hot ops. I. Hmm. It says he's here. By all rights, he should be here. Like, it. He's right here! This is the route! Does he want to be in a patch of grass up there? Is that why I can't get to him? That's very inconvenient. I'll, I'll see you guys in a minute. Wouldn't you know it, he showed up right as I stopped looking. Wouldn't you know it. And I could get, I could hit it fast enough, so this is Raiko. You didn't hear the beginning of the dilu dilu dilu. Uh, okay. All right, Raiko. Let's see, let's, let's find out what's it for all. Who's, who's faster? It's got pressure. Okay, good. I can stop it. Good, good. Good, Brintilda. Excellent. Okay, let's get him with Sing. Let's get him with our high accuracy Sing. It's the time. Now, there'd be no point in switching to Mimic anyway, because I cannot paralyze Raikou, as he is an Electric-type Pokémon. So, let's let's do a little bit of damage. Wait, he outsped me that time. I guess he always goes second when he's trying to run away. Or something. Okay. I know he's got Roar, but we're gonna, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be great. We're gonna get Raikou down. Oh, man. Okay, he got Spark. Spark's physical now. Not that. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Not that worried about it. Uh oh. I was a little worried about it. Gonna be honest. You know, I really don't want to use like a Master Ball on this. But if you, if you really are tired of chasing these guys around, you can use a Master Ball on them just fine. Like it's. Honestly, the other Pokemon that you would use a Master Ball on are all stationary. Raikou is the one that takes effort to find, so it's like... Ultimately, it's perfectly fine and acceptable to do that. Because it's just... It's just an adventure. I, I don't like roaming Pokemon. That should be pretty obvious by now. Oh boy, but there aren't any more. After this one, there aren't any more. He is sleeping a long time, tired boy. Okay, it's not actually nighttime right now because I'm poorly prepared. So I'm just gonna keep chucking Ultra Balls at him. But this is the best way to do it. Um, this is the most efficient way. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. It's here. Oh, it's him! It's him! It's Raiko! Okay. Alright. All right, you. Now is the time. Now is the time. Okay. Uh, mean look. Mean look. Gotta do mean look. Okay, can't run away. Sing. Sing him to sleep. Sing him the song of your people. Jinx. Jinx. Uh, okay. Okay. Here we go. This is the time. This is gonna be it. 
Get a, get a throw more ultra balls. Come on, Raikou. Come on. Get in the ball. Get in the... Uh, okay. You know what? You guys know how this goes. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, Raikou. Here we go. I don't like you. You don't like me. But by the end of this, I'm going to have caught you. One, two, three. Oh, we got him. Oh, okay. It's finally over. The beasts have been caught. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, Raiko. With Raiko, Kaba Soup. This rough Pokemon stores energy inside. Oh, excuse me. Inside its body, then sweeps across the land, shooting off electricity. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. All right. Okay. Now that we have caught all of the beasts, we are going to go back to C uh, Cerulean City in Kanto. I'll see you guys there. Hey guys! Alright, so we're here in Cerulean. I wanted to do a couple things on screen real quick, just to show them. I mean, I don't really know why I'm showing this, but I wanted to sell a lot of my stuff, because I've kinda, kinda been running out of money buying repels. Man, I chased- I chased Intei and Raiko for so long. I, I chased after Raiko and I didn't know I could go talk to Yusin to get his Pokedex entry. Just dumb luck guessing for two hours last night. And that was me walking from Ecritique to Route 36, 30, 37, 36, and 35 because the uh, legendary beasts have a back and forth protection on them where they're less likely to show up on a route that you keep walking back and forth between. So if you walk, you have to walk between three routes to make it make the most sense. Uh, if, if that makes any sense, um, I'm just gonna sell all these high-selling items, and, uh, yeah, um, brick piece, so much for a rare thing, but, yeah, like, it, this has been quite something, I, like, I don't like roaming Pokemon, I've already gone over that, I, I don't, I, I, I get, I guess so. I'm just going up to talk to Bill, because Bill really wanted to see us once we completed the more aggravating challenge in the game. Um, though, once again, being able to talk to Usain and get the Pokedex entries really helps. Why did I use that repel? There's no grass over here. But, get the Pokedex entries so you can see where they are, unless you want to catch them before the Elite Four for some reason. Hi, Bill. Uh... Eevee is such a fascinating Pokemon. Some say that the three legendary beasts of Johto were once three Pokemon that evolved from Eevee. Probably Glaceon, Leafeon, and Umbreon, am I right? But that might only be a rumor. Still, I'd love to see them. You caught all three of the legendary beasts? That's so cool, man! You think they were once related to Eevee? Oh man, now I have to show you my team. You can compile... You battled to... Wait. Compare the legendary Pokemon that you battled to my own Pokemon. Alright, Bill. Pokemaniac Bill. Send out Vaporeon. I bet he's got a whole team of Eevees. I would honestly be kind of shocked if he doesn't have a whole team of Eevees, but let's find out! Fighting Bill, that's kind of a cool... That, that, that's that's cool. I like that. His Pokemon are a little underleveled compared to mine, but who who isn't? Who isn't these days? So... Oh, boy. Wow. Okay. So we... We... <laughs> we did it. And Flareon comes out now. Uh, okay. You know who beats Flareon? That would be Corsola. Don't use Flareon, Bill. Uh, they, even with, even with Flareon having Flare Blitz, unless they made it faster, it's just not gonna be good. Now, they probably did make it faster. What?! Alright. I didn't... Wait, that can't burn! Since when can that burn? Am I stupid? You know what? I gotta stop talking. Alright, you know what, Flareon? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cause you already did way better than Vaporeon did. I- I- I apologize. Uh, okay, fine. I guess that's just the way it- You know what? No. No. Fine! Hit me with Flare Blitz now! Do it! Nope, you can't. That's how we do. That's how we do in my house. 
He's got Jolteon. Okay, so he didn't send out Umbreon to counter Humba, so I don't know. I really don't know what's up with that light screen. Uh, I wonder how Jolt. I mean, Jolteon was always good, so it's not really going to be that surprising that it does good, so let's just happen to see. But oh man, those beasts, you guys. We got them all, though. We got them all, and that will allow us to do the next thing that I want to do, because we don't really have that many things left. I really, like, this will be the last of a, just a couple more videos, I think. There's, there's like, three or four more legendaries for us to get. Um, I think three is the answer. But, like, it, this has been quite a journey. There's been a lot of things that I don't normally do in this game that are push to the forefront of this, like catching Entei and Raikou, or, um, well, the birds aren't in the Oregon, too. Alright, Bill, you do you, man. Um, like, the birds aren't in the original, uh, oh, wait, Oregon, too. No, no, I can't go back. Don't make me go back. <laughs> oh, right, damn it. <laughs> That's why I used extra sensory. <laughs> My subconscious is smarter than I think. Um, but I know he's got Thunderbolt. I know. Oh my god. He's also got that. Rock hard defenses. Probably another Eviel light. Oh, is that what it feels like? Is that is that what it feels like? <laughs> Fine. Break Mrs. Boggy, why don't you? You can't. Uh, I can do that though. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Mrs. Boggy, hit him with your boulder. Nice boulder. But, this has been quite an adventure. I really, really have enjoyed this, really this entire thing has been a ton of fun. And I hope everybody else has enjoyed it too. Um, there's still a few more surprises in store. I think we've seen most of the like, super huge new additions, but I guess we'll have to see. Um, because there is a location that we know we'll be going to, because the guy was there to block it in Cerulean, um, that we wouldn't normally go to. Hi, Leafeon. Yeehaw! What a battle! You you tell me, Bill. You tell me. Oh, Leafeon, that was the wrong move. That was the wrong move, although Leafeon's pretty good at defense, as I recall, so it will probably live. Probably, but not definitely. <laughs> All right. Pokemon Egg Bill, we got you. Go back in your Kabuto suit. That was one rad battle. Any Pokemon Egg would be thrilled to see what you've caught. Uh, that was one rad battle. Wait, okay. Uh, I'll see you guys back in Ecrotique. I think I know where to go now. Hey guys, here we are in Ecrotique City. Uh, we are now... Uh, wait, let me check on my repels. Uh, probably pretty low on them. Eight, uh, that'll probably be fine. So, we actually need to go to the bell tower. Remember where we caught Suicune? Well, we are on our- wait, let me talk to this guy. Hey man, please do go on. Wait, is it you, old man? Two towers, two Pokemon, one burned down, one flew away. About to, about to return to the bell tower. Okay, so ho -Oh is in the bell tower. I mean, the Pokemon we're looking for is in the bell tower. Um, on this very, very, very quiet trail. So this is the Tin Tower, and we are going to go up it. Well, I guess it's just called the Bell Tower here. But we... this will protect you. Take it. Gives us the Rainbow Wing. That opens the stairs. You have to catch the three beasts in order to get the Rainbow Wing. In order to ascend the stairs. The stairs! The stairs are everything. All that was and ever will be. Uh, so this is the Tin Tower, where ho -Oh is. And it is... I always remember this map because it's basically just a bunch of jumpy jumps. Like a bunch of jumping lads. And I love Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh -Oh. Ho -Oh is a great Pokemon. I'm excited to fight it. Um, it's a Pokemon that I was always surprised they never did more with in the anime, given how in the anime it is one of the first new Pokemon that they ever show us that we don't have a name for. and. It's the first one that Ash sees after he gets out of Viridian, uh, Forest? Or was it, no, it was Root, Root something, Root 1, whatever, and 
He's like, what is that? And Professor Oak's like, I don't know, don't make shit up. And Ash is like, oh, okay. Damn it. I have walked that circle three times now. It is this way. Bam, bam, bada ba boom. Hey, we'll need that. Possibly. Possibly, probably. Always need Ultra Balls. Up we go! Uh, wait, that's a trap. It's a trap! Okay, so it's the other way. Is that the way we came? Uh, uh... I don't know. For all my knowledge. No, this is a new area. Rare candy, we can always use those. But yeah, I remember the first time I climbed this, I was like, kind of floored, because it's such an interesting area, but there's really like, nothing to it. Damn it, it's the trap again. Wait, that must be... I know where I'm going. I don't actually know where I'm going, don't believe me. Don't believe my lies. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Uh, okay. Wait a minute, that goes down again. You telling me... Ah. Okay. No, please stop talking to me right now, Gavin. We're doing very important stuff, and you are not in my league anymore. Did you not hear that I'm the league champion? Oh. Oh! I was totally missing that. I am so sorry. Big smart. Big smart move. Uh, hop over this way. Hop over this way. Hurrah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, that's the way back to where... Wait, but I already got over here. Ah! Ah, hell diddly ding dong crap. Can't I do anything right? Alright, let's try this again. This way, this way, let's do it, let's do it, let's hop. Uh... Okay, here we go. Here we go, bam, bam, bam. Alright, that's the right exit. That's the right exit. We got this. Find a max potion. I wonder if the sacred ash is lying around here or if Ho-Ho has it. So Ho-Ho has an incredible item that only has one use that will probably come in handy for me at the Pokemon League because it is me. Um, now, I hope not, obviously, but speaking of items that are incredibly useful, but we will we'll have to see. Because you never know. Uh, hello? At HP up. Gonna be using all of these before the Pokemon League. But obviously, we are still... Uh... Uh... Oh, uh, oh hello. Full Restore. Man, they went all out with these items. Okay, that takes us up. That takes us up. And here we are. Oh, man. Oh, the Ho-Oh theme is so good. All right, let's save. Now, ho, ho is a very special Pokemon to me because for a long time, it was my favorite legendary ever. And I still really love its design. I love its ability and I just like the lore behind it. There's honestly not a thing I don't like about ho, -Oh. So, you know, um, it just always been super cool to me. Um, oh, it's got pressure. Oh, I was hoping for a sunny day or something, but I guess that would be... Hon honestly, ho, ho having drought would be so, so a bit much. Because, uh, you guys know about sacred fire? We're gonna find out, and that's gonna be bad. Bad! Um, because sacred fire is one hell of a move. Like, billion damage... Oh, and resist it four times. What am I thinking? Billion, billion damage, uh, fire move, you know, somewhere in there. Ah, oh, crap, he does have recover. Ugh, oh, okay, fine. Fine, get thunderbolted. Don't get, don't get crit, though, ho-ho. I need you to live. 
Okay, that's a good hoe. Oh, here it comes. Oh boy. 50% chance to burn, but we're gonna be 100% dead, so it doesn't matter. Wait a minute! Oh, he's got ancient power. Shit. Well, I, I thought it was a good idea. Alright. I got... <laughs> I did it again! I forgot the quick balls. Well, hopefully ho won't die, so we'll, uh... Ah, damn it. Okay, well, too late on that safeguard, ho -Oh. Frankly, I'm glad, because, uh, yeah, that that could have been Recover, so I'm glad that it wasn't. But ho -Oh was a legendary that I always really liked, and I used it a ton in Pokemon Stadium 2. Sacred Fire is such a good move that it's like... I, I don't know, you can even... Sacred Fire works while frozen. It is one of the only moves that does this, and it will auto defaw you. Um, ah! The only time it doesn't work is when I can just eat it! Flash fire is the best! Come on, ho -Oh, get in the ball. Get in the ball, ho -Oh. I need you to be a homie. A true G. The realest, the realest friend. The realest comrade. Be my comrade, ho -Oh. Uh. Alright. Oh, it's a good theme. Uh, Alright. This isn't the last big legendary battle that we'll have, but it is the one of the uh, only big ones. Ah, damn, there it is. Alright. Let's try Shadow Ball, see how that does. Ho oh, has a good amount of special defense, so it should be fine. Um, try a couple more balls, and then I'll see you guys in a minute, because this part's going to be running on, because I wanted to include all the beast stuff in this part, and Bill, and Yusin, and the cursed guy. Which is probably going to be in a weird cutaway. I apologize for that. This Recording this part has been all over the place, and I apologize if it comes up a little later than normal, because I've been scrambling to make everything work for it. And it's still going to even be a little bit messy, I bet. Oh, dear. Big sorry. I just want to, like, have a part where I can converse, but I've been constantly concerned about all these legendary battles. Alright, ho, ho come on. Come on, ho, ho Come on. Two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is that is what I like to hear. God, ho ho Oh, is Dad out of the rainbow Pokemon? Oh, you are truly my rainbow in the dark, ho ho Because it has been a dark, dark part. <laughs> oh. Wow. And this, this vista is incredible. I don't think this part... I don't think this is where ho -Oh was in the original game, but we can just fly off the top, and in the next part, I'm going to see you guys back in, uh, back in Kanto, because we have more story stuff to do now that we have, wait, actually, no, we won't be back in Kanto. I'll see you guys next part. Hey guys, alright, so this is kind of a bonus segment on this episode. But it's night time, so I figured I wanted to get this done already. So I remember at the top of the Celadon Apartments, there was a guy who was like, Come back at the night time, otherwise it's kind of scary. Let me recount a terrifying tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was given a new bicycle. He wanted to try it right away. He was having so much fun that he didn't notice the sun had set. That's when the night time ghosts come out. While riding home in the pitch black night, the bike suddenly slowed. The pedals became heavy. When he stopped pedaling, the bike began slipping backwards. It was as if the bike were cursed and trying to drag him into oblivion. Shriek! The boy had been riding uphill on Cycling Road. But but For listening so patiently, you may take this. TMO3. Alright. TMO3 is cursed. Terrifying move that slowly builds down the victim's HP if the user is ghost type. If they are ghost type, they lose one level of speed and gain one level of attack and defense. Very good move. Anyway, catch you guys uh, at... Well, we might have already caught the beasts. I struggled for a long time to find Raikou. Um, so if that already happened, great. See you guys next time.